When I first came to work for Parks Canada, I was expecting fish habitat to be in perfect condition. We started noticing that in our national parks, fish like salmon, trout, and eel were having trouble moving through our streams because of these poorly installed culverts. It's a problem we're seeing around the world, and it's having big impacts on fish populations. Sandy Brooks here in Terra Nova National Park with this edition of Brooks on Brooks. Fish in Atlantic Canada are facing some big obstacles. It's getting harder and harder for them to travel up brooks like this one. Fish need to move throughout a stream to spawn, find food and shelter. Bears have big impacts on fish populations well beyond their immediate vicinity. We build and repair roads all the time without considering the impacts on fish. Some of our fish are traveling thousands of miles in the open ocean only to be stopped short of their spawning beds. Here we have all these species trying to get upstream and boom, what happens? They run into a poorly designed culvert. Ridiculous. From a fish's perspective, a bridge has minimal impact on their movement, but a bridge is very expensive to build. A culvert, on the other hand, is much cheaper and quicker to install, but can have serious impacts on fish movement. Let's take a look at some of those impacts. This culvert was not designed as a fish passage. It was designed for the efficient movement of water. We'll take a velocity measurement in the culvert in just a moment. Uh, with that in mind, typical fish in this brook can swim at 0.5 meters per second. So basically, if we think of this treadmill as a stream, you got the fish maintaining a nice speed. But as he approaches a culvert, the water speeds up. He can sustain his speed for so long, but after a while, he gets swept downstream. So how does water velocity in this culvert compare? The water velocity is 1.4 meters per second. There's no way a fish is able to swim up through this culvert. Strike one, things aren't looking good for the fish already. So here you see we have an issue that's being created by water flowing at a very high velocity out of our culvert. This is actually hollowed out and eroded the stream bed underneath the culvert, creating this huge drop that you see. This means the fish cannot make the jump to move on. Strike two, fish just can't jump that high. In a natural stream, Boulders break up the current. It provides an excellent resting spot for fish as they travel upstream. The problem with culverts like this is normally they're designed with smooth bottoms, which in turn doesn't provide an opportunity for a fish to rest or stop as they move through the culverts. Strike three, this culvert just doesn't cut it. It's not up to my code. It's clear we gotta make things right. to mimic a natural stream bed. This slows down the water velocity to a speed that will be found in a natural area of a brook. It also provides a resting spot for fish as they make their way through the culvert. The huge drop that we've seen earlier is gone, allowing fish easy access into the culvert as they make their way upstream. This is a huge improvement. You can see that there's no longer an outflow drop and the water velocity slowed right down. 
Already we're seeing tagged fish moving up through this culvert. This is going to restore habitat quality to the condition it should be in a national park. We're going to change fish lives one culvert at a time. Parks Canada is a world leader in managing and restoring ecosystems. The Aquatic Connectivity Project in Atlantic Canada is just one example of Parks Canada working together with local groups, educators and researchers to achieve a common goal. In this case, healthy, sustainable streams that will be enjoyed by future generations. We value the relationships we share with a vast diversity of local communities, Aboriginal groups and others. By using educational tools like this video and sharing our passion, leadership and knowledge of Canada's special places, we offer new opportunities for Canadians to connect to our country's treasured places. During your next visit, discover your inspiring moment.